Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here today. And uh, if you will, go ahead and look with me at the 147th Psalm, Psalm 147. As we continue in this psalm, again, these last uh, five psalms are all uh, really songs of praise and worship. And uh, this particular psalm, um, they are praising God for um, for his goodness, uh, for his blessings uh, on them, um, and uh, just a, a great song of uh, of their of their joy and their love for the Lord, uh, and a model and a reminder uh, to you and I uh, about uh, recognizing the. Uh, the handiwork of God uh, in our life. In verse 7, as uh, where we'll be starting today, it says, Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heavens with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord takes pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. And uh, the psalmist uh, it just kind of sums up uh, the good gifts uh, of God, uh, the blessings uh, that God had put on to uh, the people of Jerusalem, uh, how he had taken care uh, of the descendants of Abraham, just as uh, he had said he would, uh, even though there had been the 70 years uh, of captivity uh, that uh, they spent in Babylon, uh, God had restored them to their land, and they were rebuilding and they were planting crops and starting their families. Uh, and so they are praising uh, God for that. They thank him for uh, the cloud cover that uh, brings rain, that brings shade, uh, that causes uh, the grass to be able to grow so then the um, animals can eat. Um, again, he just, uh, he just is, uh, really, he's using a few words, uh, really to symbolize all of God's provision. The, uh, when he says there, he makes the grass to grow, uh, well, the grass is really, uh, just a statement of the, uh, of the vegetation in general, the trees, the fruits, the vegetables. Um, the other thing about grass is again, uh, when he said, the next line gives a clue, he says he gives uh, to the beast his food. Uh, the cow eats grass, the cow makes milk, um, the cow makes steak. Uh, and so he, it, the psalmist is just really um, recognizing the chain uh, of God's blessings. And I'm not sure that's a, uh, a phrase that... Uh, I've ever used before or heard used, but uh, again, to, to remember, I mean, they, they're recognizing again that when the clouds come, that causes the rain, the rain causes the grass to go, the grass feeds the cows, the cows produce milk and meat, um, I'm able then to survive and work, and it's just a, an only, you know, we, we sometimes, we get, we, we, we enjoy the uh, the ultimate benefit and forget about all the things that God made happen. Uh, they were all part of that, uh, that chain to get that blessing uh, into our hand. Um, and so that's what the psalmist, I think, is really, he's just recognizing and honoring uh, all that God uh, does to provide for his people. Uh, that he has taken care of his people. Uh, he says, you know, he doesn't delight in the strength of horses, but uh, uh, or taketh pleasure in the legs of a man. Um, he, he's not impressed by physical strength. He's not impressed uh, by uh, all those things. Um, what he is impressed by, what he does enjoy, uh, what he does appreciate is those 
uh, who recognize him, those that honor him, um, that um, he's not impressed by uh, the things of this world. Uh, you know, we're uh, we are impressed by a lot of things. I don't. I don't know if they still do, uh, but when I was a kid, uh, the, a lot of times in the departments in the like Zares and Kmart and places like that, uh, they would have racks where you could flip through and pick out a poster and get a poster uh, of someone who you know who you were idolized, actor, celebrity musician. Uh, they may still be out there. I don't know, but uh, you could buy those posters. Um, and, you know, I think back to the people who were on them. It was the uh, the beauty queens of the day. It was the uh, superstar actors and singers. Um, wasn't any posters for the people who love God? Wasn't any posters for the people who were diligently serving God? Um, there's no, there's no posters made, uh, for the preacher at the little church in, you know, the backwoods of nowhere who's faithfully tending, uh, to his 10 or 12 people every week, um, week in, week out, being faithful to God. But that's who God's impressed with. God's not impressed with, um, your fame, your fortune, um, that, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything for him, um. Uh, that doesn't impress him a bit. But what he is impressed by is when we love him, when we serve him, when we worship him, when we praise him, uh, when we obey him. Uh, those are the things that God's looking for in his people. You think about that today. Uh, what is it? Uh, how are you trying to impress God? Uh, you're trying to impress God by how much you give at church, by how much you work at church, uh, by how often you go to church. Um, that's not what he says. He's impressed. He's pleased with those who fear him, who love him, who serve him, who worship him. All right. Think about that. Have a good day. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.